Her hair is like white gold. I mean, it sparkles. And she's got the most amazing eyes. I mean, if you see her come in, please You know, I, I did see her. A uh, girl fits your description, came in a little while ago. Oh, yes. Give it to your heart, Dad. You don't have a heart, remember? Oh! Oh, no. They're both here. Do something, Talitha, before those twin sisters get together and Timmy and Talitha really die. What are you doing, Talitha? Talk to Timmy. Tabby, you're scaring Timmy. What are you doing, Talitha? Can you hear me, Talitha? This is no time for games. Answer me, Talitha. Are you making the wind blow like this? I would hold the hand of the one who of the one who could sing so Teresa's still not home, Whitney? Not yet, Louise. Oh, terrific. I'm already running late for my shift. I can't stick around waiting for her. Why don't I just have her call you when she gets home? I got a better idea. Why don't you tell me where my sister is right now? That way I can stop by on my way to work and see her in person. I'd tell you where she was if I could, Louise. Ah, but you can't. That's right, I can't. But I'm sure she'll be home soon, though. At least I hope she will. So do I. Home seems to be the only place where Teresa's safe from herself. Thanks for letting me vent before. You know, I don't mean to take out all my frustrations about Teresa on you. It's okay, Louise. I'm not a monster, Whitney. Uh, if I'm tough on Teresa, it's because I love her. Now, I worry about her like I worry about the rest of my family. If I dog her to get a job and then lose my temper when she can't keep one, it's because I hate having to see my family scramble living from paycheck to paycheck. You don't have to explain. Well, sometimes I feel like I do. That nobody understands why I'm so uptight about Teresa spending half her life in the mall shopping for things like clothing and jewelry, things she can never afford. I'd buy it all for her, Whitney, ten times over if I could. But I can't. Every penny that comes into this house has to be accounted for. And she understands that, Luis. I mean, she knows how hard you work for her and your mother and the rest of the family. I wonder. She just forgets. But she is crazy about her big brother, the cop. I mean, you should hear the way she talks about you. She is so proud. Well, then why does she try so hard to make herself different from the rest of the family by mooning after Ethan Crane, hotshot heir to the richest family in town? I mean, doesn't she get it? The guy is way out of her league, and that's exactly where he wants to be. None of the Cranes want anything to do with people like us. And every time our family crosses their path, we end up getting burned. I don't understand. My father disappeared many years ago on his way to work at Crane Industries. I've always suspected that someone in the Crane family knew more than they admitted. Well, why? I don't have any proof. I just know it in here. You know, and then there's Mama. She works her fingers to the bone every day in the Crane Mansion as their housekeeper. If you ask me, the Lopez Fitzgeralds have given enough of our blood, sweat, and tears to the Cranes for a lifetime. That's why you don't want Teresa near them? Teresa's beautiful, young, full of high spirits. She thinks she's invincible. But the Cranes have an iron grip on this town. Teresa gets tied up with them and they'll let her down. They'll crush that beautiful spirit right out of her. I won't let that happen. I don't think she's going to be anywhere near the Cranes. I hope you're right. I want my sister to be happy. And she's never going to be unless she puts that idea of her and Ethan Crane out of her head for good. It's so outrageous that someone would come after you, of all people, Ethan. I'm sure Ethan will be off the phone in a minute. That's nice of you to say, Sheridan. 
But this local girl obviously has a vendetta against me. Well, it's interesting, though, that none of the accidents that she's caused have been life-threatening. True. So far, she's only taken a toll on my clothing. And my ego. Well, maybe there's another reason for what she's done. Sure there is. She's a painter who works in unorthodox materials, and she's picked me to be her canvas. I didn't mean that. Did it ever occur to you that maybe she's trying to get your attention? Yeah, well, I think she succeeded at that. Because she's got a crush on you? Did you just say she has a crush on me? I think we have a bad phone connection. <laughs> no, hear me out. It makes perfect sense. Well, absolutely. I mean, I love paint and fish guts and ice cream on the girls I'm attracted to. I'm not saying that the girl is wound that tightly, but maybe it's some misguided attempt to get you to notice her, like her. Not only do I not like her, Sheridan, I loathe and detest her. I mean, if this is her idea of letting me know she loves me, 